Hello, in this video, I'll show you how you can restrict access to your Google form or to your quiz. So first you have to have a Google account and I will start with a blank form. Okay, and I will say that it's a restricted form. Okay, and I have to start with the first question. Okay, let's say you can restrict the form using a password, okay, or using an email, or using a phone number, okay? It depends on how you want to restrict the access to your uh, Google Forms. And I have to choose the short answer. And here, in order um, to have this restriction, I have to click on response validation. And la later on, I have to uh, go to regular expression. And in regular expression, I have to click on matches. Okay, let's say I have um, a password, for example, one, two, three. Okay, and I need also to add an email. Okay, for example, uh, but before adding the email, I have to put shift backslash like this to have this horizontal line. And I will say an, an email, socrat at hotmail.com. Okay. I can add, for example, a phone number, also shift backslash, uh, let's say um, 961-325-417. Okay. And also, I have to make this question required because if they don't answer, <clears throat> okay, they cannot continue. And um, custom error text in case they didn't put the right password or the right email, okay, a message will appear, let's say, incorrect or unregistered email, for example. Okay. Also, I have to add a section here, okay, and then another question. Okay, I add another question. Let's say this is um, your name. Okay. Okay, and here what I have to do, I can preview the form. So let's say I put a wrong password like 145, I press enter or next, so incorrect or unregistered email. So uh, we put like the password, it's 123, I click next, so like this I can continue and I submit the form. I will try also the email that I put, I put socrat at hotmail.com, okay, so if uh, like dot the come okay i click next so i can continue for example if i put e here okay okay so it will give me this uh, message so i can put as many uh, passwords or emails that i want and like this only people that they are registered okay they can continue and they can fill the form and also i can put like a message if you want, you can um, contact the administrator and I put a certain contact number or email and like this, they can have access or they can contact you if they need. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.